Today, we're diving deep into the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Samsung has just unveiled their latest foldable flagship, promising a host of improvements over its predecessor, the Z Fold 5. But is it worth the upgrade? Let's find out. Let's start with the design. Samsung has clearly listened to user feedback. The Z Fold 6 boasts a wider cover screen, making it more comfortable for one-handed use. The main screen's crease is less noticeable, and the overall design feels more refined. Plus, Samsung has introduced a new IP48 rating, making it the first water dust-resistant foldable phone. Under the hood, both phones pack a punch. The Z Fold 5 already had the powerful Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy, but the Z Fold 6 ups the amp with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. This means even snappier performance and better power efficiency. Samsung has also introduced some exciting new AI features with the Z Fold 6. From improved image processing to smarter assistance, the Z Fold 6 is definitely leading the pack in terms of software. Camera-wise, there are drastic changes. Both phones feature a triple camera setup with similar specifications. The real difference might lie in software optimizations. The Z Fold 6 benefits from Samsung's Pro Visual Engine, which promises enhanced image quality and new editing features. Battery life remains consistent between the two models. Both phones pack a 4400 mAh battery, and while the new chipset might offer some efficiency gains, we'll need more testing to confirm any significant differences. So, is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 worth the upgrade? If you're coming from an older foldable or a regular smartphone, absolutely. The Z Fold 6 offers a significant leap in design, performance, and features. However, if you own the Z Fold 5, the decision is more nuanced. While the Z Fold 6 is undoubtedly better, the improvements might not justify the cost for some. If you're happy with your Z Fold 5 and don't mind waiting for some of the new features to potentially trickle down through software updates, you might want to hold off. But wait, there's more. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6 are also introducing some groundbreaking AI features that are worth highlighting. Interpreter mode, real-time translation on both screens, perfect for language barriers. Sketch to image, turn your doodles into stunning artwork. Portrait studio, add fun effects to your selfies. Chat assist, AI-powered message drafting. Live transcription in Samsung Notes. Transcribe your notes in real time. These features showcase Samsung's commitment to AI innovation and push the boundaries of what a smartphone can do. Well, that's it for today's comparison. What do you think about the Galaxy Z Fold 6? Are you planning to upgrade? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech content. Today, we are diving into the latest buzz surrounding the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Buckle up, because this phone is shaping up to be a true game changer in the world of smartphones. Let's get into the juicy details. First off, Samsung seems laser focused on making the S25 Ultra the king of smartphones in 2025. The company appears to be using a two-pronged attack to achieve this, a monstrous camera system and mind-blowing performance upgrades. Let's start with the camera. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to stick with its familiar quad camera setup, but with some serious enhancements. The main sensor will likely boast a hopping 200 megapixels, matching the S24 Ultra but optimized for the S25 Ultra's specific hardware thanks to the new Snapdragon Agent 4 camera ISP. But that's not all. We're also looking at a 5x optical zoom lens with a 50 megapixel sensor, a brand new 3x optical zoom lens, also with a 50 megapixel sensor, and an ultra wide angle lens getting a bump to 50 megapixels as well. These upgrades, particularly for the 3x zoom and ultra wide sensors, are long overdue and promise to significantly elevate mobile photography. Now let's talk about performance. One of the most exciting rumors is the reintroduction of a fan favorite feature, a 16 gigabytes RAM option. And not just any RAM, but the industry-first LPDDR5X RAM, capable of speeds up to a staggering 10.7 GEPs. This translates to unparalleled performance for on-device AI, demanding tasks like cloud gaming, and much more. When you combine this insane RAM with the power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 processor, the S25 Ultra has the potential to be the absolute performance leader in the smartphone world. Speaking of the Agent 4, another reliable leak suggests it'll house the most powerful GPU ever seen in a smartphone. Benchmarks show prototypes running Genshin Impact at a smooth 1080 resolution and 60 FPS. A dream for mobile gamers. Currently, this popular game is capped at 720 on most phones and maintaining a consistent 60 FPS is a struggle. Of course, with great power comes a potentially higher price tag. Rumors suggest the Snapdragon Agent 4 chip could inflate the price of the entire S25 series compared to its predecessor. 
Qualcomm has reportedly increased the cost of the Agent 4 significantly compared to the Agent 3. This leaves Samsung with a tough choice, raise prices across the board or potentially use the Exynos 2500 processor for the S25 and S25 Plus, reserving the mighty Agent 4 exclusively for the S25 Ultra. The Agent 4 itself is a whole new beast, built from the ground up using Qualcomm's Super Orion cores previously seen in their laptops this chip has the potential to give the Galaxy S25 Ultra performance that rivals some Apple M-series laptops. But wait, there's more. We also have hot rumors about the Galaxy S25 Ultra being equipped with the next generation of storage, UFS 4.1. Universal Flash Storage, or UFS, determines how fast your phone can access and store data. The latest and greatest version is UFS 4.0, which powers many current flagships, including the Galaxy S24. But the future is calling and whispers suggest the Galaxy S25 Ultra might be the first to sport UFS 4.1. While UFS 5.0 is expected around 2027, UFS 4.1 steps in as a minor yet significant upgrade. It's not a mind-blowing jump in raw numbers, but it's targeted to enhance specific areas like on-device AI features. Faster read and write speeds with UFS 4.1 will allow the phone to access data needed by AI algorithms much quicker, translating to smoother performance for features like scene optimization in your camera app, real-time language translation, and other background AI functions. So what does this all mean? The Galaxy S25 Ultra, if equipped with UFS 4.1, is shaping up to be a powerhouse for AI enthusiasts. Faster data access, improved multitasking, and potential battery life improvements. That's a recipe for a future-proof phone ready to tackle demanding tasks. Of course, this is all based on rumors for now, but one thing's for sure, the future of smartphones looks increasingly intertwined with the power of AI, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra, with its potential UFS 4.1 upgrade, might just be at the forefront of that exciting evolution. So there you have it! What are your thoughts on the upcoming S25 Ultra? Are the camera upgrades exciting you? Can't wait for the return of 16GB RAM? Or is the potential power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 blowing your mind? Let me know in the comments below! Thanks for tuning in! I will see you in the next one, guys. Until then, goodbye.